Oh, that hurt. So I wrecked pretty good, and I think I broke my ribs. <laughs> They're not broken. I wouldn't do that. Like that. The uh, Pro Ben Bark Busters didn't help much uh, protecting the lever. Lever's bent, and the clutch started leaking. Hydraulic fluid. So we're gonna limp this thing out of here. I can still ride. Oh, my ribs hurt pretty bad. Puts a damper on uh, riding when you crash that early. All right, let's take a look at the damage. So you've got the uh, Probin hand guards that I had put on. Took a really nasty shot to it. It actually tore into the uh, into the grips there, and they're splitting down the side. The handlebar is bent. The hand guard went down. This piece rotated down, which pushed down on this. Uh, this is the hydraulic line for the clutch, the hydraulic clutch. It pushed down on that and broke the seal and started leaking a fluid. It also made this knob so that it, whenever you pulled it in, came in contact with the electronics controls, the lighting controls box here. And so it would get stuck. And now that I've gotten home, it's a little bit clearer what the problems are. Tightened up this uh, nut here, stopped the leak. Clutch um, lever here is bent, it twisted somehow. Even though we have these supposedly really high quality expensive bark busters, I mean, I was not even going that fast and it caused this much damage. So it knocked this thing down, which rotated down, which hit the hydraulic line and bent it and caused the leak. Also bending the, the whole lever assembly down and making it bump against the light controls. Also somehow the handlebars are bent and I can't tell which way, but it's very uncomfortable uh, riding with it in that position. It's the second time this happened to me, it happened on the Honda. So I'm looking at buying a new set of hand handlebars. I'm really disappointed after all the high reviews and high marks I've seen the Pro Bend hand guards. They look great. Anodized orange, which fits the KTM, the KTM uh, logo and everything on the uh, on the guards. And here's the other one, still in perfectly good condition. So this is what happens in here. Take it out here in the way. So completely busted out, busted out the back. The mirror itself, the glass was on the trail. I found it, picked it up, and tossed it to the side. All right, now how about me? Uh, well, for 42 years old and, you know, not in very good shape, I'm handling it pretty well. My ribs are sore. I don't think they're broken. If they were broken, I wouldn't be able to breathe or be in such high spirits right now so easily. I think things would be a little bit harder on me. Plus, maybe my pain tolerance has gotten higher. I doubt that, though. So I just think it's going to be a little bit of a, you know, recovery time maybe before I ride again. That gives me time to order some handlebars for the bike. Replacement grips. <laughs> All the stuff I'm gonna have to fix on it.